So this here, this little thing, is the Pebble Bee smartphone smart button, um, which really, you know, in you know, such a small little uh, package is, is, a, is pretty cool. It comes uh, in a nice little soft pouch that you can use to store it if you want or for, uh, for other things. It's actually like a really nice kind of soft microfiber fabric, so definitely need to keep it protected. And it also comes with this uh, keychain loop, which was not attached originally, but I just put it through the hole in there, pretty simple. So the product itself, as you can see, is, is pretty simple. There's just the one button there on the front. Um, but what that button can do is kind of unlimited, and that's what's pretty cool about this. So there is this, let's see, whoops, Pebble Bee app that I have now on my Android phone. Um, this uses Bluetooth. You just uh, make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone and have it uh, find the phone, the uh, Pebble Bee. Now it looks like it's lost connection with mine right now. So I will press the button here and it looks like, okay, it's uh, clearly found it because it actually just did what the uh, button's supposed to do. So um, let's see if the, the lighting's off a little bit here, but you can see here now um, the yellow there sh um, indicates the battery level in the, uh, in the Pebble Bee. And also there's a temperature sensor, so it tells it, uh, which is kind of cool, it tells me it's uh, 66 degrees. And then there are two options here. There is the press and the hold. So that's, um, this can do two different things at once. One is for just a quick press of the button, and one, the other one is if I hold down the button. So just to show you how this works, so there are, let's see, hopefully this comes, yeah, yeah, I think you can read this on the, on the video. There are um, several standard options. You can have it send a pre-written text message to certain recipients when you press the uh, press or hold the button. You can have it call a selected contact. So if you got like, you know, you want to, you know, call your husband or call, you know, you know, there's someone specific you call a lot. You want to be able to do it with one button. Um, you can take a picture, which is what I have the short click um, set at right now. You can sound an alarm, which is actually a really loud alarm, even if your phone's on mute, so to help find the phone, which is pretty useful. And then the last one, which I'm having a lot of fun with, is IFTTT, which I was um, previously unaware of. And you actually can go on the IFTTT website and find hundreds of recipes that others have written or write your own to basically script what you want to happen. So right now I have IFTTT set for um, the long hold on this and then I have the if app that I've downloaded which shows that uh, here if you can so that if the pebble be stone is a, a long press, then it mutes my phone. And I'm actually finding that pretty convenient. Um, like if, if I, uh, you know, I'm on, in an important meeting or something and I wanna quickly mute my phone, being able to do that without having to fumble with the, going into the settings and such is, is pretty useful. So um, let's give, give an example here. Even if I'm on here and I'm gonna do a short press, let's see what happens. Takes a second, it buzzed, it just opened up the Pebble Bee uh, camera app and I believe it just took a picture. Uh, I can go into my uh, my photos now and see the, uh, I'm sure, very lovely picture. It just, uh, yes, just took a picture of the side of my head. Excellent. <laughs> so I uh, could probably aim that a little better ne next time. But um, so basically, you know, it uses it not only as a as a remote shutter camera shutter, but it actually launches the camera app even when it wasn't open, which is pretty uh, pretty handy. Uh, okay, so long press I have set to do um, to mute my phone. So if I hold this down for a second, release it. I just got a buzz here. It says triggered IFTTT. And I just got a notification here saying that that uh, script was run. And if I go into my uh, volume settings, you'd see that my phone is now muted. So um, 
Anyway, it's uh, I'm having a lot of fun kind of playing with the IFTTT, seeing all the different things that I can program this to do. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate the phone alarm one right now because it is really loud and my kids are asleep, but um, I find that to be a pretty handy one. Um, there's a lot of, you know, different things because it has a temperature sensor, you can, you know, write scripts to, you know, do things when the temperature is above or below a certain thing, um, and it's... Uh, there's a lot of interesting possibilities with uh, with the Pebble Bee. So overall, um, I'd say it seems like a, a pretty sturdy uh, product. It's obviously tiny, it'll fit in a pocket, fit in any purse. So uh, uh, overall, I'm uh, pretty pleased with my uh, Pebble Bee stone.